Kayla. And I'm Kia. And today we're going to take you on a virtual trip to West Sumatra. There we can find the beautiful Rumah Gadang and the Jam Gadang and many interesting places. But today we're going to take you to the beach, Pantai Air Manis. This is the beach where Man Kundang story took place. We will read you the story. Bring it on, Kian. Sure, let's get started. Once upon a time on the north coast of Sumatra lived a poor woman and her son. The boy was called Man Kundang. He grew up as a skillful young boy. He always helps his mother to earn some money. However, as they were only fishermen software, they still live in poverty. One day, man asked his mother to go overseas, but his mother didn't agree, but man has made, had made up his mind. Mother, I want to be a successful person. His mother wiped her tears. Well, I can't stop you. I could only pray to God for success in life. But promise me, you'll come home. In the next morning, Malin Kundan was ready to go. Take a good care of yourself, son, said Malin's mother as she gave him some food supplies. You too, mother, take a good care of yourself. I'll keep in touch with you, said Malin. Malin's mother took, Malin's mother hugged him tight as if she didn't want to let him go. It had been three months since Man Kundang left his mother. Every morning, she stood on a pier. She wished to see the ship that brought Malin home. Every day and night, she, she prayed to the God for her son's safety. Even though it's been a year, she, she had not heard any news from Malin Kundang. She kept waiting and praying for him. After several years of waiting without any news, Malin Kundang's mother was suddenly surprised by the arrival of a big ship in the pier. Malin's mother saw a man who looked wealthy stepping down a ladder with a beautiful woman. She could not be wrong, her blurry eyes still easily recognized him. The man was Malin Kundang, her son. Malin's mother quickly went to see her beloved son. Malin, your back son. And without hesitation, she came running back to hug Mayan Kundang. I miss you so much. But Mayan Kundang didn't show any response. He was ashamed to admit his own mother in front of his beautiful wife. You're not my mother. I don't know you. My mother would never wear such rich and ugly clothes, said Mayan as he listens as he released his mother embrace. Malin's mother took a step back. Malin, you don't recognize me, I'm your mother, she said sadly. Man Kundang's face was as cold as ice. God, take this old woman out of here. He ordered his bodyguard. Give her some money so she won't disturb me again. Malin's mother cried as she was dragged by the bodyguard. Malin, my son, why do you treat your own mother like this? Malin ignored his mother and ordered the ship priest to set sail. Malin's mother sat along the pier. Her heart was so hurt, she cried and cried. Dear God, if he isn't my son, please let him have a safe journey. But if he is, I curse him to become a stone. She prayed to the God. Suddenly, the wind blew so hard, a thunderstorm came. Mount Kundang's huge ship was wrecked! He was thrown by a wave out of his ship, and fell on a small island, and suddenly his whole body turned to stone! What a sad ending! Yeah, I know. So, friends, more of the stories, we should always love and respect our parents, especially our mothers. True, she is the one who takes care of us since we were a baby. So, I hope you guys love the story. Hope you all enjoyed the story. See you next other time. Till then, take care. Stay safe. Bye bye everyone.